Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yoshuli back with another video and today we're going to be doing some Greystone offlane. I think it's a very perfect time to run Greystone in today's video because I really feel like the two uh, most beginner friendly offlaners at the moment is Grux which I did yesterday and Greystone which we're doing today because Open Beta has finally launched um, yesterday. There's a lot of new players into the game for the first time so i figure i showcase some of the more beginner friendly heroes that i found to be very very powerful like great stone the beginner friendly hero but he's also like a top notch like um off laner in the higher elos like he's like really really strong and annoying to deal with for a lot of these like higher elo players and when we get the grux so it's gonna be an interesting matchup it's sort of a volatile ish matchup and what i mean by that is this is a very matchup where both of us want to get like super super aggressive on white kill and so we want to like w key each other it's just matter who does it better or rather like who's more healthy to do it we got the level two so i'm definitely gonna be pushing my advantage right here and really laying in the hood right there on the work so we actually off to already really great soft because um Works really like disrespect our level 2 power spike right there and allow us to really put in the serious hurt right there. I was hoping he was gonna step back up, but he actually slipped away last second, so we're not gonna be able to catch him there that time, but we're still in a very, very good spot and we need to hold on to the lead um, to keep on preparing ourselves forward to victory. I'm trying to fight for the level 3 right here. That's actually going to give me a lot of extra stats right there. And it's going to really like put Grux in a little bit awkward position, or rather, making sure that he doesn't get to really um, walk up for free right here. So I'm trying to get aggressive whenever I can on him. I'm trying to like use all my abilities, try to chunk him down so you see how he's really just getting oof on the mana. Um, but a lot of it, the reason why I'm actually winning these outs because I am actually using the wave to my advantage. So now finally, the wave is going to crash in all the way. And I think I can actually get away with going for two blocks because that's a very large wave that Grux is dealing with. And I think that gives me enough time to focus to, to get the two buff. So I can deny him this buff, but then I can also regen a lot of my HP up. Oh, come on, two buff. Wow, that's so unfortunate right there. Because, like, I was like... The two buff stopped moving for one second, and because of that, I didn't got the one all attack I need. But luckily, Crunch came in to salvage that place, so we both blink, but he's the one that would die right there. That's actually really unfortunate. That almost got me killed because the two buff was following me, but then it stopped last second, so I went for my base attack, I think. So that was almost very unfortunate, but luckily, Crunch got the kill. So I really want to build Brimstone, that's like the big power spike we want to play for, but we didn't quite have enough on this, so we're going to try to get this on this next back. Maybe we're going to take it early back, just so we can get this earlier, but it depends on just how this um, next phase of the laning goes right here, because it's a big wave right there, so I actually can't really step a up a whole ton. I just feel a little bit careful of this rush just jumping on me, so I'm going to prioritize playing the wave on it whenever I can. Oh nice, we actually dodged those abilities out. I'm gonna use my arm B. I'm not even bothered gonna try and do the with the hook. I might take the safer way out and ensure that I won't die. Or while I take a really bad trade that I should not be taking. So I don't think the Witcher is on the side anymore because it's like really nothing to farm. Hold that thought. I guess that won't be the case right there. So he actually just sat right there. Because you saw my camp timer. There was nothing to farm on this right side. So this Witcher actually just sat there the entire time still. That is so interesting. You see the CS right there between my jungle and him. Like he's losing farm because he's trying to give the Grux some more love. But I want the back anyways for my 500. So I might as well just do it because I'm getting a little like love from this way to jungle so i'll just use that skill to get brimstone now i'm in a much better spot to um, get even more aggressive on this work because once you hit level six that's when it's kind of a go button for you the go button for grux is just anytime you can stay on top of someone really but the go button for graystone in comparison is level six because that's where you can play super aggressively and not get punished for a 
as easily because you just regen a lot of your HP up, no problem. I'm gonna just jump on him. I really want to commit on this raid so I can get him shot more better. So there we go. And yeah, we're just wanting you down, my friend. Like, this is what I mean. The Brimstone Power Spike is just unreal. Like, you do not want to disrespect it as soon as Brimstone. Yep, yeah, get it right there, as you guys saw. So, perfect example of what I mean by Brimstone, just a really powerful T2 arm you always want to try to go for if your kills is well suited for this. And Brimstone is very, very well suited for this. Because it's this build is actually like a 5 Blossom Bachelor as its two items, which. Like, if you look at the recommended, it's like overall bachelor, but 5 Blossom in replace of overall, it's just way better. And that's just kind of like been the middle of whenever Grayson's being picked up in high elo and, and all the competitive tournaments as well. Dang. Came in a little bit too early. I was trying to like bait a fight and then let him walk away. Oh, while I walked back up, but the crunch came in right when the glitch was already backing off. So that's actually a okay still. It just means that we just won't get that nice gank on him as I would hope. But we still have our level 6. Well, Grush is gonna get his level 6, but literally all we do is once he presses ultimate, we just literally leap away. And then he won't be able to catch us anymore after that. He's gonna try to use his Q. I'm trying to like bait him to use it, but he's not like taking it right now. Now he uses it, but he uses it like pretty late right there. Okay. Alright, he press ultimate, we just literally leap away. That's all you need to do. And now, Grux doesn't have ultimate, I still do. So I could like really just get a lot of pressure on him. So I'm waiting for my Q to come back off cooldown. And then I'm actually just gonna wail on top of him now. We just the ultimate to slow him down, do some damage, and get our HP back more importantly. But yeah, you see how we can literally just win it out if he keeps fighting it out like that? So, really good spot, but Winter may be on this side soon, so be a little bit careful of that gank, but Grux is always low, so I don't think he's going to be able to really do much. Um, it's even most be between me and Winter when he comes in. Pick the devil, we do see the Winter on this blue. So we will not be able to push this in all the way because Richter is going to defend white, um, white lane by the way. So we need to just take the back while we still can without getting punished too hard. So a little bit off on Fire Blossom, but since we're staying on gold right there, we're going to actually pick up a soul component to be more efficient with our stats coming back into the lane phase. So we don't have ultimate for another 100 seconds, so that's when we have to be a little bit careful playing against the Grux, but... Uh, we can still get really aggressive, I feel. We just need to make sure that we don't get our pants caught down when the Witcher tries to come gank us on my right side. But he is coming towards the left, so he's not actually on the side of the map anymore. So we're actually kind of chilling still. I'm going to wait for my minion wave to come crashing in before we look to go try to kill that out. <laughs> Again, he presses ultimate, we leap away. That's all we really need to do. And he's gonna blink for it, but he's not gonna be able to really kill us. Like, I think he was trying to get my blink out, but the, the big thing is, like, I don't need to use my blink if I'm not in danger of actually dying right there. So I'm gonna. I know it's a little bit risky since I'm getting low on HP, but I want to keep finding this out because I know that Grux wants the cube bug. I probably can't contest him because I don't have the HP to do so, but I'll at least catch this wave. That's a cannon, that's a lot of gold, so I don't want to just miss this um, for no reason. Okay, I'm going to do one more wave and then look to back off. I'm trying to tell where this um Rux went, but I'm actually gonna go mid. Cause I see the waste is dead. Or rather like yeah, no, that's the waste mid lane in August before. I'm gonna look at mid actually. The 
Because maybe we can get this um push in to push the tower a bit more. Do we have rivers to play for anyways right here? I really want to get this um with a buff so I can at least have enough mana to ult if I have to. Okay, it looks like the RG support is gonna defend that out, so that's A-OK. -okay. I'm more than planning to go to be able to get fire boss in right here. I have to keep an eye on my crunch because he is doing the main problem with me not being able to support him at the moment, so I'm gonna walk over. I don't think the Witcher knows we're doing it, but because I'm 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 telling based on how the race and works are like reacting, they're not really reacting or looking towards the main farm, so they probably don't even know. And yep, they do not know, so we got three mini farms on night. Looks like the Grump is gonna walk way back over there. Cause that's alright. Seems like he might contest my point, so I'll be on my way to help out if he does commit to that. Because I think we wanted to go Volte 11. We lost the first Fain Tours. I wanted to go help my team for the second one right there. Because they're definitely going to go on it. We lost that ADC. But if I Volte over, we can still even the odds um, for this Fain Tours fight. Because Rock is still on the right side pushing. Gotta make sure this wave's in a good spot. I'm pushing out. Now we walk over the fainters together. And just see if anyone's trying to go on it. I'm gonna focus Argus first. Nice, we got the Richter. Huge. And that's the power just starts walking over. Like, kind of seems like we won that pretty decisively, but it never hurts to be safer than sorry. Oh, that's his work trying to walk in now, too. It, it doesn't help to be better safer than sorry, just in case things um go where away, right? So. Because you never know how a team fight will actually plan out, especially if they just successfully gank and kill one of your teammates right there. Nice, so we're. In the very good spot, we got Bruce's boss sword too. So now he's off the shred armor. We're gonna really, really shred this um Grok, especially since he's going for Sky so he's actually quite squishy. So I really think we can really just run him down now at this point. We just gotta make sure we get in the good way state to do so. I'm actually not gonna like push this out necessarily just yet because I feel like I want to freeze this wave. On this Grux right here. Maybe just about Purple stepping up in general. So I'll take my time pushing this out and make him like lose some farm as we saw. But he's actually going on 2 buff, so I'm actually gonna fight him straight up. Like if he's gonna just go 2 buff immediately, yeah, he's committing to it all the way. I'm still gonna fight you. I will die more because you press ultimate, I press lead, and that's the end of the story. So that's all you really need to do, and that's what makes it sometimes frustrating to play um, Brooks is that every if, so, if you want to get some of the mobility option, all they need to do is hold onto it, use it when you press ultimate, and you don't have an actual ultimate to really play around. I think that gets the slow right there. Ah, uh, nah, not quite enough. But he's so shrunk right now. I'm gonna just gonna push, keep pushing his end because maybe. Maybe I can get the town knocked down since it looks like it's already low. Half HP? Yeah, I just need to like build this wave. Wait for my wave to crash in, and that, sh that should be it. Because your E by the way do bonus damage to towers, so it makes great zone just really good with push in general because you really chunk towers um with your kit overall. I'm gonna know him because I want to get this um, finish out first. I don't think he has blink from earlier. Does he use it? Oh, he does have it. I'm probably dead right now, but the race is there anyways. So, that's fine. I got the tower more than anything. Like, getting that T1 gold for myself is really big because that gives me a lot of gold to work with. All I need to do is have my Gideon or Quench defend right lane so we don't lose that for free and then we should be in the very good spot. Because yeah, like, I think you should be able to either solo this guy in the tower, or just look to defend this out. 
Oh yeah, he's going for it. He's already so low already, so that should be good for my fun. Nice. Let's go for Sivir's Mentor, that's kind of like the best quest to go for Grayson, especially in this build. And so this is your cold build, just Sivir's Mentor, 5 boss and Basilisk, and you can do every one afterwards. And speaking of that, I might go for a more spicier build by going in front of the... I'm trying to, I'm trying to cook up a more aggressive um, build instead of just pure tank. So I'm thinking going in front of them third, see how that feels, and then maybe we can sprinkle in some more stuff too. Because in front of them actually works surprisingly very good on Grayson, it used to be his best meta first item. But now it's just five blocks um, for the most part. So I want to try to see how it feels to go in front of them third right here. I'm, I'm feeling the move to cook, and I think it's a little bit more fun to try something a little different besides going for the standard build every single game. Is there a blue buff I can take? There isn't. I, I am, however, going to go push in mid. It seems like there's a lot of fighting happening around the jungle, and I don't think the race is going to be in this mid lane, so I can probably just get the tower right here if he's not going back already. Oh, he was over here. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go on him. Got the blink out, and I have my ultimate in like 3 seconds, so... Yeah. Wasted a little oopsie right there. And it looks like Brooks is still gonna keep hammering away at my white tower, so... I'm gonna come over, he might push all the way in for it. If he does, we just all in on him. Because he might get the tower, but we still get the kill on him. But we also need to make sure we're on top of green at the next fainter spike again. So I might push out the next wave, and then we're gonna meet our team over. Nah, actually I think I'm the one trade over. I don't have enough time to push one more wave, so I'm gonna just go over to the left side immediately. So get that, and now let's start cooking up in front of them. Literally cooking up our foes with the funny dark tech you can put on him. Oh, this is a really bad disadvantage fight right here. They just have no, like, numbers to really go much on here. But that Murdoch got so low. I'm not letting them do this for free, by the way. I'm literally gonna run at them. So I'm actually just gonna run on this race. So I'm trying to buy my team some time while we DPS down um, the back line. Use my ultimate right there to negate the um, waste ultimate right there. But more importantly, like, make sure I can live long. So nice, we're cleaning up. I gotta play a little bit slow right here. Oh, 1 HP. Wow. Maybe I should turn on the waste first. I was hoping we burn down the Grux faster right there, but we did not end up doing that. But we got them off Fainters, which is the big thing. Like, giving up the third Fainters is not what we want to do right now. So we made them all back up, and we're gonna maybe just try again and fight and see if we win that time. The only reason why we lost is because our two allies got caught out in the 2v5 scenario. It looks like my punch is just gonna go for the solo bolo on faint twos. So... I feel like they should know because they see the steel support like going to left immediately. But it seems like they're not walking up, so it looks like we're gonna get our faint twos right here, so nice. So, we didn't clean up entirely on the enemy team, but you guys saw what happened. We got to make them go off it, and we still got the faint twos at the end of the day, because the first people to die was my crunch, who was the jungle, so he just went straight over melee and just started, so very well played by him. So at this point, I do feel like we just win our way against the Grux, but we have to be careful of us getting gained up on by like multiple people. And then speaking of which, I hear the Witch right there. So I'm gonna get aggro on this Grux, but I have to be mindful of the fact that the Witch is around on the side. Alright, use ultimate, we back off immediately. That's really all we need to do. He doesn't know the Witch is right there, but I think we still win this. We just have to focus the Grux first. Dang, we can't catch him anymore. 
I just don't know what the race is at. That's the scary part. I do not know what the race is at and the big adventures are. I'll just I'll just take the retreat for now. Don't if he's chasing me after me like that, I feel like someone else is looking at me still. Yeah, that witch is out for blood. But it seems like he's not gonna get anything off with that. Nice, nice. So I see waste on the left side, so I'm actually just gonna go push mid. Because if the mid lane is over there, I don't think they expect me to push in the mid wave immediately to try to take down the um, tower down this mid lane. Okay, so waste is coming over, but I don't think he catches the wave on time at all. So we're gonna be able to actually. Ah, uh, the August caught last second. Literally 1 HP right there. Just barely able to not get it just yet. Nice play, nice snipe, love to see it. Looks like my, uh, my punch is not fine anymore. Nice, we got the race fight there. Somehow my punch lived and we actually turned up and got him instead, that's huge. Fuck is still missing white. Oh, he's right over there. I think it's too late for me to rotate mid at this point, so I'm actually gonna split push because if they keep fine right there, I'm gonna be able to eventually draw someone away towards my side, and then that's gonna really just split it off the map because yeah, I see how low they all are. They they have to actually back off, so I think I can actually maybe get the T2 tower if no one comes here straight away. I'm not gonna go for Argus because my team is more than capable of finishing off. I want the T2 tower, is what I want. So I can open up the map and get even more gold for myself. Okay, enemy team is here, we backed off. But that le at least that means that we actually get the um, mid tower finally. Okay, it looks like the Grux was trying to go on me, but it's not going to be the find that angle. So nice. I need just a little bit more gold. Wow, they even know my wave too, so my tower, they actually, that tower took more damage because they know the wave pushing in there, so nice. I literally just need one more wave and that is just done. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna go mid because I feel like, yeah, they're trying to go on my mother right now. Got the blink by him. Nice, so we got the kill on this mother. Got the blink out of the way, super big stuff. So Fainter is coming up shortly, I just need one wave and then I can finally back on my Thundam um, purchase. Wait, my game is here, we can fight this bus honestly. Okay, back off because we have the squad coming over. Because I want to make sure- oh nice. Let's go, that's huge. So nice, let's actually get in front of them now. That's going to be a nice hefty bonus damage on top, which by the way, um, Graystone builds a lot of bonus physical power and that makes our Gundam proc even more powerful and then you stack armor shirt on top of it, it's just, it's your over I must say. That's why Gundam alone used to be super good on him and eventually I think it got nerfed so it wasn't nearly as effective but it's still pretty viable if you want to run it on more assassin picks and maybe sometimes the occasional spiky um, Graystone build like this one. Cause now I want to build sales though cause I'm gonna build double armor shred. And it's going to make my Infernum ticks even more powerful. Oh, I might do something more spiky too and go for Pepperator for that slow. I'm going to get on all my abilities. Very nice stuff. That's actually fine mode, which is a very powerful buff for us. So the fact that we killed the jungler is a 5v3. There's no way they can get this fine mode under us anymore. And we don't have the jungler, so all we need to do is just focus fine mode. We, fin we finish fine mode first and then we go help. Still might die before we get it, but it's still very important to get this by the way. Going for the blink, do we have a way to lock him down? Yes, we do. Maybe go for Prime now. Because Rick, Rick is still dead, we just killed the support, so the stagger still. So I'm gonna fight at a very good advantage right here. So 
Because with Primal, we now should really shred this old Prime super fast. Yeah, see how it's just almost dead already? We need to like get the last hit in for our jungle smite and then we should be fine. Yep, now we can fight if we want to, especially me since I'm definitely more than able to fight. I'm gonna blink on this way because he just used his blink earlier and his ultimate. So he has no way to escape your surely. Nice. I'm gonna use my ultimate. And I don't get to use my ultimate. That sucks. That's the one thing I'd be so careful of. I thought I could live right there. But they CC me perfectly so I do not get to live unfortunately. That sucks. But I just got greedy with my positioning right there more than anything. I think I'm gonna like cook up a little bit more right here. It may actually be GG's right here. But we'll see. You never know what happens. But... Yeah, this is just some good quality Grook, um, Graceman off lane. And I guess the Grooks too, which I know a lot of people sometimes struggle with him initially, especially for a new player. But the fact that we able to show how you can play into the Grooks. Like for the most part, to play into the Grooks, you just need to learn how to be aggressive um, and play to your strength. I think the big problem when people play into Grooks is the fact that um, they get too scared of his pressure. And then when he's all his abilities on you, people are too, too scared to still like jump on top of him, right? I think that's a big issue I see, right? Because when it, when you saw me playing that lane, I really wait for the Grux to use his, all his abilities, and then I look to get really aggro. Sure, Grux still is powerful in the all lands with the passive and basic attacks, but like if he doesn't have his abilities online, and you do, you still win those trades if you take them. You just need to take them and not be scaled, and it's the big, big thing. Nice, so very well played by the team and yours surely of course. So I think this is gonna be sort of as a great um great zone gameplay for you guys, especially in this like matchup against the Grux because we're definitely um we're like going tiptoeing around him a lot in that lane phase. So it's very good for you guys to see how to play against the Grux on this great zone kill too, especially right here. So yeah, I really really think that this video is going to be super helpful to you guys so i'll try to see next time i'll cook up a little bit more spicier build it just got a little bit too late for us to go all the way in except for that infinite purchase last but if you want to know the full build like the full actual like compared to build on Graceone, um the build is going to be in the dis description below but other than that hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comments about the heroes about the builds you want me to showcase thank you as always for the amazing support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace